Welcome everybody to We Do Games. My name is Devin Moon. To my left today, Dustin Alameda. Oh. To my right today, Sawyer Champagne. Howdy. Yeah. Thug life. Now. Thug life. <laughs> thug, thug with us. Thug with us. West Side Story. Um, no. Gucci, Gucci, Gucci no, no. West Side Story. No. Come on. No. no. When you're, We're not jet. When sharks. you're jet, it's a shark all the way. Listen. <laughs> White guy, mm. what were the white guys? The Jets? Probably the You were a shark, weren't you? <laughs> Racist. <laughs> Dude, I it's a racial movie. We gotta we gotta suggest You were it. a shark, weren't you? <laughs> okay. We yes. are playing. Yes, I was. And I was the one who brought the, the zoot zoot gun and shot Did you. You kill that beautiful man? I'd want to be a shark too. Yeah. They were cooler. They had a sweet dance scene in the middle. Okay. I don't remember. We're done. <laughs> You only movies. want to hear about games, not movies. Do you? Well, you mm. might want to start that up. Yeah, let's we'll start that up. Sekiro. Sekiro. Shadows die twice. Shadows die um, twice. Devin's case, thirty-eight times. <laughs> yep. How many and times? A lot. We're gonna die a lot. But I mean, you die and then you get resurrected. Oh, well, that's nice. So. But do I have to collect my Sekiro's again? No. Okay. You lose. You lose everything on death. So Unless I do you have get... to collect my Sekiro's again. Yeah, you have to grind again, but it's not like going back to where you died and find your corpse. You oh, okay. don't get you don't get to recover. Oh. It's a brand new game, y'all. We're fresh, we're new. And there's that guy. I played a lot, so I'm uh, not fresh uh, or new. Well, me and Soy here. We're gonna lose spectacularly. Okay, start it up. We're going. Now we're playing this on the PlayStation uh that how was that? Spider Man 4K? Oh, Spider Man. Spider Man 4K. So we know what we're doing here. That's so I know for audio purposes. And we're we, starting the game. We will be uh, sometime in the traditional Japanese. Oh really? So I hope you like to read. It's way better <laughs> a, a voice You're acting in acting Japanese. Better. Okay. All right. I, I did it in both English and Japanese for a while. I'm like Japanese is so much cooler. Can, can't you just turn on English subtitles? Yeah, the subtitles are in English. Oh, okay. Uh, <clears throat> so I grab me that remote. Just want to make sure our sound's down enough, but not too down. Wait, I did the business. I think. I hope I don't delete everything. Do it. Do, Do you it really? All. No. Okay. No, you don't. So we're starting a new game. Well, we're probably going to skip the cutscenes because. Do we make our own character in this one? No. You are. So this is a real story, Sekiro. actually. So that's the backstory, because so, it's set in a real time. Yeah. During Japanese history, during the, like, I don't know how long the Civil War was, but it was, a, they were raging war for a long time. So you're a shinobi. Shinobi! Or a young, Sorry, I turn things Lord. down. So I was say, it's tripping me out that I can't hear. Yeah, we got two audios going. I hope this recording works this time, everybody. Fun, right? If Fun? Not, we'll just have Max record a bunch. Whoa! Look in the mangles! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just. Really... Dude, you're really into this. Okay, so this is the beginning. So, yeah, this you're in a well, you're kind of like defeated a little bit, and this chick drops a letter. So, this is. Uh, we're just gonna. We're gonna run through the uh, tutorial. I'm not even gonna really do it. Pretty little game. Pretty little game. I mean, but it is still from software, so it's not like. Yeah, it's like a change your life or anything but is it more action adventure -y? it's pretty stealth yeah it seems but we're just gonna we're just gonna just run, run past, through yeah at these guys i don't even have a sword yet so what are you going for so the the letter's like oh go your lord is in the lighthouse go oh wow dude did you just die one shot <laughs> i've never done it this way before oh my gosh so you can't run at this point so you want to play let, let, let's let him get the sword first. <laughs> All right, let's talk first, though. Let's let's look up the world. Let's talk uh, about life. I watched a speedrunner do it, news. and it looks so easy. Well, it always does when you're watching a speedrunner. Every time I've seen a speedrunner do things, I'm like, yeah, this looks easy. I can no. do that. Yeah. And okay. you're like, no, I really can't be no. Mario in 15 minutes. <laughs> yeah, you're like, yeah, I guess not. <laughs> Took me eight days. So. Yeah, no, not gonna happen. Are you still doing that speedrun stuff? Uh, not recently. Okay. Sawyer was speedrunning y'all, Mario. No, Pokemon. Oh, they found me. I thought it was Mario. No, it was Pokemon. Oh, both just... fish. Okay. Leader Shingo more, more Pokemon. This guy is just a raging. Can, can you climb the 
Yep, you can. Now, anytime you see a little white mark, that's a climby point. Yeah. That's classic Assassin's Creed for you. That looks like bird poop. <laughs> anytime you see a bird poop, you go. <laughs> Woo! I'm gonna climb that bird poop and I'm gonna climb it good. See, it doesn't look like, it looks like birds yeah. just went down on the yeah, wall. Yeah. A little bit of scratching marks in there. Yeah, yeah. Alright, cutscene. Yeah, you made it. I get my sword. So, let's run through this uh, newsage. Uh, Borderlands. Ugh. Got a release date, soy. I know. It September 13th. Too. Was it September 13th? Yes, it was. Ah, I'm excited. That's way sooner than I thought it'd be. Well, not way sooner, but it's pretty soon. I figured it'd be sometime in the fall. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Heal your September, wounds. that's fun. That's exciting. I think we're all ready, although it just got announced, but I think we're all ready. Well, no, unless you're on PC and then you're going to whine like a little girl. Why? Because it's on the Epic Launcher, not on Steam. Oh, that's right. Oh, dude, they're having Is it really that hard to download the Epic Launcher, though? No, just but they off of principle, they won't. Oh, well. So I'll Fine. be playing the game and having fun while they're not, so I don't care. Principal. Yeah. You right. keep your principal. Suck your principal. We'll fun play Borderlands too. Yeah. <laughs> First kill coming up. All right. We're, gonna, we're just going to backstab the crap out of this guy. Now, Max is going down the hill. Give a little stabby stab. Pokey poke. Oh. And then ah! yeah, he's going to get. He now, him good. Wow, this is like. This uh, one's not for the kitties. Now, here. No. Are, you know, this is like. Uh, that one movie. Come Kill here. Bill. Kill Come Bill. Here. Come, here. Come here. Yeah. You stab him once and you get some squirts. Guy's got the Hershey blood squirts. We're gonna go. We're gonna be sneaky. Don't sneaky. you dare look at me like that. You know it's true. You saw Hershey blood squirts. No, no, I did not. Actually, there is a, a part in the game where you can use their blood as a mist and get another stealth kill. <laughs> I love me a good blood mist. But we're gonna go. Now let's see. The other news, which is kind of kind of what me and Sawyer talked about a while back, Anthem Troubles. Oh. Anthem Troubles. Just so you know, I was right. We were both right, actually. That's true. A little bit of Bioware, a little bit of oh, no, EA. Or, yeah. I, I, I agree that it was Bioware and EA. Yeah. But I, was, I think Frostbite was a huge part of it. Oh, yeah. And they said it was. Yep, it was. Apart so, with uh, not knowing what game you're making. Yeah. <laughs> Which, uh, that seems like an issue. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so that was an issue. They were saying how, yeah, basically, Bioware hates the Frostbite engine. Uh, Everyone just, hates the Frostbite just frickin', engine. Just freaking, I don't know why. I don't know what they would rather use. I didn't, I didn't read anything about UE4 it. UE4 would have been better. Like, there's yeah. Some, like, Apex Legends is on UE4. Yeah. Why didn't... And I know it's because they don't <laughs> want to pay, like epic for this yeah okay but gotcha. it's better than the they want to have their own thing game. yeah yeah i mean yeah even bungie's running into that same problem where they're like oh we'll make our own software to, to but they've program. they've made their own engines forever yeah and guess what their engine's not capable of keeping up with the times i know so good job bungie they and need to just accept and three it. for three accept it and pay epic for what they're good at yeah yeah, that's that's the thing with these bigger ones like Epic and I guess Unity, other things like that. They're always, I mean, that's what they're for. They're updating. Mm -hmm. That's what they're known for. Okay, whatever. <laughs> but although, but Epic does have a certain look to it that I always look at and I'm like, oh, that was made on the Epic. It's kind of, I don't know what it is. It's like chunky, chunky. It's like Campbell's chunky soup. That's what it looks like. I think. The the worst part of that was hearing the state of developers. Yeah. And then more yeah. people from other companies even saying yeah. Well and just apparently it was so stressful that they had like a word or like a saying like people just going out for stress days constantly. And yeah, doctors were giving them yeah. mandatory stress vacations mm -hmm. and stuff and it just sounded a little awful. <laughs> But it's like, uh, this does not sound like a good experience at all, but... Despite that crappy Bioware response to the article that Jason... Good by uh, what's Schreier? Jason Schreier. Yeah. yeah, Schreiber. Schreiber. That he put out. Schreiber. Um, <laughs> Corey Hudson. Uh -huh. like, it's It's really making a difference. They're yeah. going into meetings and they're talking about it and they're like, Hey guys, we really want to make sure this is a good place to work. Yeah. We don't want you to feel like... You're getting screwed yeah, over. Or yeah. We want you to be happy. So it's it's oh, cool. Man. Yeah. I think it was much needed and it I mean Yeah, and I hope the future is better. And the other thing is it sounded like they just were like, 
well, it will all work out in the end. Like, oh, it'll be fine. Uh, you know, right now in the beginning, yeah, we're far behind, but oh, it works out in the end. It, it worked out apparently that way for Mass Effect Trilogy and uh, the Dragon Age during that time. But since then, that model hasn't worked. Even oh. then, it didn't work that well. I guess so. I mean, think about how much better those games could have been. Because when you're happy, you do your best work. Well, yeah. And it's just crazy to me that they're, like, freaking not thinking about that to me. It's just weird. And it's Mass abusive. Well, it kind of is in a way. And it's kind of weird that they think they can be that way. A lot of game companies, the, the, just the environment is so work, as, workaholic heavy and stressful. It just seems like a stressful gig. As an employer, you, you're not necessarily in charge of the happiness of your employees. I mean, a good work environment is... Yeah should be a priority yeah but i mean employees go through crap all the time so it's not really your job to make them happy it's just your job to give them a good work environment i think but you kind of have but to when make your them... job is making them unhappy yeah gonna... you know your work environment sucks yeah so. i was gonna say i mean those the happiness and the work environment should go hand in hand in some way but anyway so that's a bummer uh hopefully some improvements hopefully ea is listening and they're like okay we'll get rid of the frostbite or or whatever it was the frostbite right yeah. and just do a different engine or just let or just let companies deal with it like battlefield seems fine with working it's it was it. developed for battlefield. yeah exactly <laughs> well because they were the first to use it right uh -huh. and so you know i'm like why not just be fine yeah be fine with Certain companies using this engine, certain companies using the other. Pay the money, you're freaking EA. Deal with it. My gosh. Anyways, and hopefully we get some Bioware that's worth it. But it sounds like a lot of people are leaving, so maybe not. Um, Anthem was their highest selling game, like, ever. So I don't think... Was that, it? Yeah. It beat all and the nice the Anthem did amazing. And the quickest to go. And so if they can bring it back and keep up with it i think they have they have a good franchise on it they just have to prove that they can do it yeah i thought the cells were a little meh oh no but whatever that this it was their best selling game by hmm. warriors really mm -hmm. uh let's see bethesda is not showing elder scrolls or starfield at Which e3 is, i don't know that to me that just seems uh crazy I, to me but i don't know or maybe they will, and they're just like, no, we're not going to show it. Yeah, but my thing is they're showing, they're doing this expectation thing. And I think that's because they know that it's not coming. Like, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, you know, they're setting expectations a long time. I mean, ahead I get it because that. they're just like, look what happened to Fallout seventy six. Yeah, so much hype, and then yeah, for and something then, that was came out of the gate just terrible. And I think if that happened with an Elder Scrolls game they might be in big trouble. Yeah, I think Elder Scrolls... I don't know. I'm like, man... I knew Elder Scrolls wasn't going to be showing because that was just like a title card. And they even said it was going to be years till we see Elder Scrolls. So I wasn't expecting that too soon. But uh, as far as like the Starfield game, I was pretty sure that was going to be shown. So now I don't even know what they're going to show. Soy, any ideas on what do you think? I don't think Starfield's coming out for another year or two either, though. Really? So I think this is the year they focus on Fallout 76. 76 yeah. And they say, look, we're going to show you all the cool stuff we've been adding uh -huh. and all the cool stuff we will add. So Fallout 76, I can see that maybe. I think that's going to be a huge focus. Maybe right. Diablo uh, Eternal, um, which is. Yeah. Why would it be on Bethesda stage? No, oh gosh, Diablo. Guys, not Diablo. <laughs> Doom. Oh, Doom. Of Doom. course, Doom. Because oh, gosh. they're going to go into the VR stuff. Yeah. Well, Doom Eternal will come out. I don't know if Eternal comes out before E3. I don't think it does, but... They're still going to be on stage. It'll be on there. I think... So I feel like it's going to be kind of a lackluster conference, unless there's something really new that we don't know about. Uh... Some of their random ones, I'm sure. What other franchise do they got? I don't know. They have a lot of different studios. I feel like, do they do that scary horror game, Max, that you like? What is that game called? Which one? Uh, the one that's not Resident Evil, but it's Resident Evil-like. The freaking... Evil Within? Evil Within. 
Um, that is Bethesda, yeah. Yeah, so I wonder if Evil Within 3, maybe? I don't think so. I think Evil Within 2 is still... Too soon? Yeah. It could be. That was two years ago? A year ago, maybe? It's been a while, but not too far. Not too far, yeah, maybe, maybe, to make a years, new like game. Like 2017 yeah. at the... Uh, it seemed like the first one and the second one were pretty close together, but maybe not. Anyways. Rage. Yeah, Rage. They're going to show Rage. Tale. Yeah. Especially because that's out this year, right? Yeah, that'll come out. But I, that's again, I don't know if that's a later one or anyways. So I feel like it's going to be a whole bunch of games we've already known about. Maybe a couple surprises. Maybe they'll tease Evil Within 3. Uh, but I don't know. I think they gave away most of their surprises last year. Yeah. They even showed games for six, uh, probably six years out. Yeah, too soon. Way too soon. Especially, like, I understand Elder Scrolls, but Starfield or whatever, you probably should have just waited on that one uh, if it wasn't ready. Let's see. Switch Best Buy leaks. Oh. This one is weird. Uh, actually, not too weird. Uh, Persona's been, like, holding off some uh, Persona S announcement is coming s for switch maybe yes or super or super or but they, all, but they already got royal so i don't know the why they stadium. would have a, sure or, or stadia yeah or, or stadia <laughs> yeah that's coming to the google stadia yeah, going straight to google stadia skipping all of them uh why not? it's going to the switch I no big papa what about a cell phone? i like it when you come to big papa <laughs> we did this last time did we? Yeah. Stop that. <laughs> Throw your hands in the air if you a Switch player. Yep, or, stop or that. Or white, yeah. Uh, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> I'm brownish. Don't lie to yourself. You're so white. <laughs> My last name is Alameda. I understand. Your first name is Dustin. Yeah, but... Yeah, there's a little bit of white chin. It's you. mostly my mom's fault. <laughs> um, the bl So, yeah. That's going to be interesting. I'll play it on the Persona. I'll play it there. That's Would you not, play it on the Switch? Persona? Yeah. Uh, no. That's not, not for you. Game. You sure? I don't do You're not RPGs, RPGs anymore. Okay. What happened? So you were totally into those. Uh, yeah, it's been 15 years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. What happened? It's been 15 years. <laughs> I turned to the JRPG guy and you turned to the shooter guy. Yeah. Totally screwed ourselves over. Yeah. <laughs> You but why limit up? yourself? Think, why limit yourself to one style of game? That a boy, Max. I've been playing Assassin's Creed. <laughs> what do you got to say to that? I don't know. Speak for yourself now. I don't limit myself. Uh, like Celeste is my like game of the year last year. Yeah, that's. If true. I would have played it last year. <laughs> So Persona, that's exciting. I think it's coming to the Switch. So the Best Buy leaks shows Persona S coming in, or Switch coming in the Switch. Which isn't even my my actually the only part I'm excited about for the Switch or the Switch leaks. Yeah, the other ones. It's a link to the past. So that's, here's the thing. That's what I'm most excited about. I don't think that's gonna happen. Why is there a link? So I like this rumor, except for that. Because because that got, is so when random. When is Awakening coming out? This the end of the year. Oh, never mind then. So where is this totally coming from? Much. Yeah, totally maybe, come, maybe where is it's it coming like from next year. Yeah, I just got it. So, so Awakenings this year. Yeah, but like why would next they year. be giving that info to Best Buy already? Well, well apparently they do. Borderlands yeah, three last year. Apparently they do. They give it out so they're ready to ship it. Also though, companies do it just to like uh, say, oh, we're we. We're expecting this game to come. Yeah. So they don't actually know it's coming. So that one I can see everyone was rumored that the Link to the Past game was going to come. Like a Link to the Past Switch version. But instead I think we got Link's Awakening. So I think that's kind of where that's coming from. Because it would be so weird to have Link's Awakening. But these are, these are from the, one. the inside the system in Best Buy. Oh, I know. They're internal employee side systems. I know. I'm just saying I think... Usually it's to protect themselves if something does come out, but there are SKUs and stuff on there, so that does make it weird. But it doesn't make no se it makes no sense to do Link's Awakening and Links to the Past unless they're like unless you know they're putting out another trilogy <laughs> from a love, yeah, beloved franchise. Exactly, unless both are coming out together at the same time and you choose, since they kind of their story works on each other. But I don't know, it's so weird. Yeah. I mean, it's so well, weird. I was more leading into the other part of the leak. The Metroid trilogy. Trilogy, yeah. The, is it the Prime Trilogy? Prime Trilogy. That's... Prime Trilogy, and then what was the third? It was Persona. Persona. Oh, that's right. Yeah. So the Prime Trilogy, I totally see that coming. Um, that would be nice. But, you know, 
I don't Samus know. needs some love. I've never played the play Prime games. You so like I'm not em. really excited. You like them? I think you'd like them. They're cool. They're like they're not totally action heavy based, but they're good adventure action y kind of thing. But if you're not in the Metroid style, maybe you want it. I think I think they're gonna be a little boring. No, they're not boring. I mean, it is a little more chill experience than a shooter, but it's not boring, for sure. I look, you get little coins, Mix. I got money. He's a money Ooh. boy. I'm rich. So yeah, I I do see tr I see Prime Trilogy coming. I don't see Zelda: Link's Awakening. If if it does come during E3, wow, that'd be awesome. I'd be eat my shorts. That'd be great. But there is this year is already way too full for Nintendo. They have way too many games. Do they though? Yes. They have Pokemon? Yeah. They have Luigi, Luigi, Luigi's Mansion. Animal no one cares about Link's. People, Luigi. that's a, it's an exclusive though. No one cares about Animal Crossing. An, yes, Why do you people want do. Simulator? People, I don't care about it, but people <laughs> love Animal Crossing. Well, I know. I, probably I hate it, but people love it. That. Yeah, people love it. So Animal Crossing, uh, New Zelda, New Mario, Mario Maker 2. Dude, there's way, every franchise you can think of is almost here. Yeah, but when it's another remaster, Another remaster? Link to the Past. Oh no, the Metroid dude. Trilogy. People would make Those a would be Link, people remasters. would make a big deal about Link to the Past. People oh, would make a big deal about Link's Awakening. They Link to the Past Link is the past. considered one of the best ever games yeah. ever, but one of the best Zelda games even. Yeah. So I, mean. so I it's an interesting thing. I don't think it's going to happen. Pretty sure we watched Mexico do this already. Yeah, did you, did you die? No, oh. I, I rested at the Buddhist. Oh, okay. And yeah. they respawn when you rest? Yeah. Yeah, so it's like the Bloodborne. Okay. Or they blo not Bloodborne, Bloodborne? Dark, Dark Souls. They respawn in Dark Souls? Yeah. When you hit the fire, you get the, you get the people's I mean, they back. they respawn in Bloodborne mm. too. Do they? Yeah. I never got to the fire pits or whatever they are called in the Bloodborne. I played that a little bit afterwards, everybody. Got did past the door. But after you get past the door, there's a big guy, and then there's several werewolves on the top. Yeah. And I'm like, where's my save spot? Because I ain't living. And I didn't live. I died. We're going to go... So, anyways. Giant without fire, so. Thanks, Max, for playing during this wonderful combo. Uh, apparently, VR for Mario and Zelda coming. Woo-hoo! That will be weird. I'm sure it's like a three-minute experience, but whatever. That might be fun. See how excited Soy is about that? Woo! <laughs> Cardboard VR, it's come. Ooh. So exciting. <laughs> uh, hold cardboard to my face. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, uh, that's it for the news, everybody. Thanks for listening to We Do Games. Max, thanks for your playing. So I thanks for your talking. Max, thank you for your talking on occasion. I tried. Me, thank you for being dead. Yep, yeah, just being myself. And that's it. Thanks everybody for watching again and bye. I said that five times. Bye.